R2G app download. Please search for R2G in the App Store on your smartphone and download the app. Membership and Login After launching the R2G app, sign up and log in using the relevant information for each field. You can also sign up and log in using other login methods at the bottom of the app. Connect the device After logging into the R2G app, press the Start Connection button on the main screen to activate the camera. At this time, turn on the device and scan the QR code screen to connect the device. Disconnect the device After disconnecting in the R2G app device settings, if factory reset is completed in the external viewer device info tab, the device and smartphone will be successfully disconnected, allowing the device to connect to a new smartphone. Find My Device In the Find My Device tab of the R2G app, the location where your smartphone and device were last connected is displayed on the map. Name of each part Laser Objective Lens, Emission Lens, Laser Receiving Lens, GPS receiver, mode button, mat mode button, power measurement button. It consists of a focus dial, an AMOLED 1.78 inch touch display, an eyepiece lens, and a USB charging port. Rangefinder OLED display information, pin catcher activated when using the pin catcher measurement. Slope mode activated when slope mode is enabled. Aiming line the line used to aim at the target during measurement. Mat mode activated when entering mat mode. Battery indicator displays the remaining battery level. Brightness adjustment indicates the icon for adjusting OLED brightness. Bluetooth pairing displays the Bluetooth connection status between the device and the smartphone. GPS reception indicates the GPS reception status of the device. Measurement unit displays the measurement unit in meters or yards. Straight line distance displays the actual distance when measuring in slope mode. Vertical height difference displays the height difference when measuring in slope mode. Measurement distance in slope mode displays the adjusted distance in non-slope mode displays the actual distance. Power on. When the device's power measurement button is pressed briefly, the external viewer and the measuring device power on and switch to measurement standby mode. Power off. If the device is not operated for a certain period, the power will automatically turn off. Please make sure to check the automatic power off time for the measuring device OLED in the external viewer. Manual power off and measuring device mode switching. On the external viewer main screen, swiping from top to bottom switches to power off and measuring device mode. Check battery level. You can check the battery status through the battery icon at the top right corner of the external viewer and measuring device OLED. If the battery icon at the top right corner of the measuring device OLED blinks or a battery charging message appears on the external viewer, please charge the device. Once fully charged, a charging complete message will appear on the external viewer. Automatic Brightness Adjustment The brightness of the measuring device OLED and external viewer is automatically adjusted according to the user's external environment, with the initial settings set to auto. Manual Brightness Adjustment for Measuring Device OLED Users can manually adjust the brightness, hold down the Power Measurement button, and press the Mode button. Pause for 3 seconds at the desired brightness level to complete the brightness setting. External Viewer Manual Brightness Adjustment On the External Viewer main screen, you can enter settings to manually adjust the brightness. Focus Adjustment Turn the focus dial of the measuring device left or right to adjust the OLED screen for a clearer view. 
Unit Change While the power is on, press and hold the Mode button for more than 2 seconds to switch between meters and yards. Slope Mode Non-Slope Mode Switching between slope mode and non-slope mode is possible. Slope mode provides the adjusted distance reflecting the target's elevation, while non-slope mode provides the actual distance to the target. Measuring Device OLED Slope Non-slope mode switching Press the mode button briefly once, and the measuring device OLED will switch between slope mode and non-slope mode, as indicated in the upper left corner. External Viewer Slope Non-slope mode switching from the main screen, enter settings. Golf settings to toggle slope mode on or off. In slope mode, the white R2G logo appears on the external viewer, while the orange R2G logo is displayed for two seconds during measurements in non-slope mode. General measurement. When the measurement button is briefly pressed to measure a target, it provides the attack distance along with a single vibration. Pin Capture Measurement When you hold down the measurement button and scan toward the target, it captures the closest target and provides the attack distance along with two vibrations. When Pin Capture Measurement is completed, the measuring device OLED icon is activated. Mat Mode Mat Mode, which implements the world's first triangular measurement technology, is a proprietary patented technology unique to R2G. During a round, it allows you to measure the remaining distance to both your companion and the target, or pre-measure the distance from the cart and select the necessary club, enabling a more enjoyable and convenient round. Step 1. Target Measurement after entering Map Mode, if the Map Mode icon on the top right blinks, scan the target as if capturing it to measure the pin catcher. Once the measurement is complete, the distance to the target will be displayed along with a single vibration. Step 2. Measuring the companion or ball for the first time. After completing the target measurement, if the Map Mode icon on the upper right corner blinks at B, measure the companion or ball. Once the measurement is complete, the distance between the first point and the target is displayed along with a single vibration. Step 3. Measuring the companion or ball for the second time. After completing the first point measurement, measure the second point. Once the measurement is complete, the distance between the second point and the target is displayed along with a single vibration. Mat Mode External Viewer when measuring in map mode, the external viewer activates the map mode icon on the upper right corner of the screen. The remaining distances to the companion and target are displayed in the order of measurement. Entire Course View Hole Information Displays details of the current hole being played. Green Location It indicates the left green and right green, and it switches either by touching the area or when measuring with the laser. Distance between user, pen. Displays the remaining distance from the user to the pen. Club recommendation. Displays the recommended club based on user settings when laser measurement is performed. Slope. Indicates elevation changes when slope mode is enabled. Driver distance arc. Shows the driver distance arc set by the user. User location. Displays the current position of the user with an icon. IP icon displays the inactive state. When touched, it activates and shows the distance between the IP point, the pin, and the user's current location. Score button press and hold the score button for two seconds to switch to the scoreboard. Shot button clicking the shot button allows you to record the number of shots and save the current location. Pin displays the pin as an icon, centrally positioned on the green. Expanded measurement view and shot aiming line shows the distance between the user and the target point. Target point location displays the target point's location with an icon when the target point is measured. Displays the distance from the target point to the pin. Displays the distance between the user and the target point. Displays the aiming line to the target activated when the aiming guide function is used. 
Green Side View displays the distance between the user and the back of the green, displays the distance from the user to the pin, displays the distance from the user to the front of the green, indicates the pin's position. If the pin is not measured, it is displayed at the center of the green, displays obstacles such as bunkers around the green, displays the green and its undulation. Green View displays the user's current position outside the green, displays the remaining distance between the user and the back of the green, displays the remaining distance between the user and the pin, displays the distance between the user and the front of the green, displays the user's current location inside the green. On the green, after the user touches the shot button, their position switches to the ball icon. Configuring the viewer. On the main screen, touch the settings icon to adjust golf settings and viewer configurations. Golf settings. You can configure user customized information and set up functions required for golf play. Golf play access. Connect to the R2G app, golf play, golf course search, nearby course, automatic GPS reception, select the golf course to start the round. Before starting golf play, please download and transfer the map from the R2G app and then proceed with the round. Quick Menu In the entire course view screen, swipe down from the top to enter the Quick Menu. In the Quick Menu, you can adjust golf settings, change the hole, and end the round. Switching to Golf Map When in the full course view screen, swiping left or right will switch to the surrounding golf map view. Compass Calibration If the Compass Calibration screen appears during golf play, press the Mode Measurement button once, then move it in the same pattern as shown on the screen to calibrate the compass. Once the calibration is complete, the guidance screen will disappear automatically. Shot Tracking The Shot button allows you to record your shot count and save your current location. You can verify the hole-by-hole -hole movement trajectory in the R2G app round records. Scorecard when a hole is completed, a scorecard is automatically generated, enabling you to input the score for each hole. Scoreboard An entire course view and green view, holding the score button for two seconds will bring up the scoreboard, where you can directly input scores for each hole. End of round When the 18-hole round is successfully completed, the end of round screen will appear. Press the Confirm button to finish the round. From the entire course view screen, swipe down to access the Quick Menu and press the End of Round button to forcefully end the round. For a golf course where you play 9 holes twice, please make sure to press the End of Round button after completing the first 9 holes to save your score and location information. How to use Golf Play before starting golf play, please download, transfer the map via the R2G app, and then begin your round. Entire Course View and Auto Zoom Through the preview of the respective hole, you can check the course's fairway, user driving range, and precise course layout. The map automatically displays a zoomed-in view based on the user's location. IP Point Touching the IP icon displays the IP point and distance, enabling the user to change the IP location directly. The updated IP location assists in strategizing for course play. Strategy Point Zoom View and Shot Aiming Line When measuring a strategy point, the map automatically zooms in, making it easy to view surrounding details. Using the Shot Aiming Line, users can set an accurate target direction. Matt Pin Viewer applies R2G's unique sensor integration technology to provide golfers worldwide with real-time pin location updates and accurate distance information on the green, ensuring the best playing experience. Green Side View You can accurately identify information about obstacles around the green. Before measuring the pin, the green center pin and GPS distance will be displayed. After measuring the pin, the actual pin location and the actual strategy distance are displayed. Green View When the remaining distance to the pin is within 30 yards from the current location, it automatically switches to the green view, 
Before measuring the pin, the green center pin and GPS distance are displayed. After measuring the pin, the actual pin location and the actual strategy distance are displayed.